ranch was initially part of the Diamond Day Ranch or the Gray Ranch in the Boot Hill. So it was a huge ranch that went from south of the border in Mexico all the way to Socorro. We, we had never heard the term Sienega when we bought this ranch. We just wanted to find some wilderness to help restore when we retired. There is no wilderness left. We found that the closest thing to it is a cattle ranch. So we bought this place. It, we knew it had water. We found out it was a Sienega. We did a little research, realized its importance, and then started soliciting funds. And now that we're going, you sort of have a synergy. Sienega literally means uh, Cien Agua, a hundred waters in Spanish. Um, it, it, and the definition is slow moving water or marsh. It's not a swamp, it's not a bog, it's a marsh. And there are certain kinds of plants that grow in Cienegas that don't grow anywhere else in the world. This is a very benign, very small feature. But, but obviously there are canyons all along here, you know, and, and it all adds to the water course. So, you know, that's a little half a day job that has uh, one rock dam in there and has some posts to hold the rocks in place because there's rocks that are, I mean, water comes gushing out of that and rips this out. So we're trying to slow it wherever we can. The, the project fundamentally is to return the functionality to the Cienega, to get the Burl Cienega to function today like it did 150 years ago. And it's been incised in some areas as much as 10 feet. So we've got to build the bottom up and we've been doing that with partners funds. You can see what we've done. We put these three, we call them perpendicular post veins. We put these, these veins in, they're six feet deep. And you can see over there how much higher the soil is. And then it kind of steps down. And when this, when this covers, we'll come back and we'll put three more in right here and they'll be higher than these. And then, so we've just about, with the next partners program, we intend to finish tier one. So we will have installed probably 150, maybe 200 gray control structures over this 8.6 mile reach of the rural Cienega that's on this ranch. And then when those cover, we'll go back and do tier two. When those cover, we'll go back and do tier three. And by tier four, the Cienega will be filled up and it won't look like a creek anymore. It'll be flat all the way and the water, when it comes down, will then spread out and be a football field wide instead of uh, six inches wide.